Hello, I'm here to tell you about how to operate our do-all traps here. First of all, you're going to want to make sure your foot pedal is plugged in right here. Then, for normal operation, your spade and spring bolt. To attach this, you're going to need to move your arm into the 12 o'clock position, at which point the spring hook under here will be at its closest point to the back. You can then attach the spring and the thread through the back of the machine. And then you'll simply put this bolt through here, tighten this down until the spring is flush and doesn't have any play in it. So at that point, you're probably going to have about five or six threads sticking out the back. That's fine. Once you're done with that, for my purposes, I'm leaving the spring off, make sure that your switch is in the off middle position. Because when you attach the battery, if it's in the on position, this arm's going to come around and it's going to hit your safety pin that you have in there and it's going to blow your fuse and then you're going to have to call me for a new fuse. So, switch in the off position, attach to the battery, take your pin out. Now, you can turn the machine on. At which point, it will come down to about this position and stop. However, if your machine continues to auto cycle, meaning it's just going to go around and around and around and it won't ever stop and it'll keep throwing birds. If it keeps throwing birds, great, don't panic. Your machine is actually functioning correctly. Don't return it to the store. All you have to do, disarm the machine by flipping the switch up and it then the arm will stop in about the 12 o'clock position once you turn the machine off, the motor will quit running. You can take it off the battery. You will then take off your main spring. And what you need to adjust is underneath the machine right here. Is this little switch right here. This switch is hit by this cam when the arm comes around. That is what controls the timing of your machine and gets it to stop. However, if your machine is auto-cycling, this switch, you'll need to loosen the two screws right here and pivot it towards the direction of the motor, at which point the cam can now come in contact with that roller bearing much sooner, stopping your arm where it needs to. If you have a problem where your throwing arm, however, is stopping somewhere about here, you'll need to pivot your switch away from the motor so the arm will then travel farther. These are the two most common calls I get are blown fuses and limit switches that need to just be adjusted. Thank you for watching.